Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Reiser with Mountain Point, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about account manager targets. So account manager targets are a feature within Salesforce's manufacturing cloud, and it essentially allows sales manager to set up a target or quota or goal. Also, it can be called budgets or plans, uh, but for the purposes of this, we're going to call it a target. And for this quick demo, I'm also going to make the assumption that I'm the sales manager for Mountain Point Manufacturing, and I have two sales directors underneath of me, Johnny and Susie, each of them uh, representing a different region for us. So let's dive right in. So to set up a target, it's pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to set this target as Mountain Point Manufacturing fiscal year 25. We'll update this to also reflect the fiscal year of 2025. And we are going to measure revenue in this particular case. You could also um, measure quantity, customer satisfaction, net promoter score. Uh, but for the purposes of this, since we know what our revenue target is, we are going to set it as revenue. So our target for fiscal year 25 will be $10 million. Hit save. Now that we have saved this, we can set the team assignments. So as mentioned, we have two directors. You can have as many as the role hierarchy within Salesforce accounts. So basically this is looking for anything or any individual that is a Salesforce licensed member that has myself as their manager. So for Susie, let's go ahead and set a percentage 50% and Johnny a percentage of 50%. And as you can see, it does the math. So if our overall target for Mountain Point Manufacturing is 10 million, it's going to split that amongst Susie and Johnny. We'll go ahead and hit save. And then you can further specify um, how you want this to be distributed. So if Susie had account execs that rolled up into her, she could further distribute that $5 million down. But for the purpose of this, let's make the assumption that she only has two accounts that she wants to uh, track and target for this. So we'll set HackMe as an account and we'll just make it simple and say 50% of that will go towards HackMe. And let's pick a textile company here and we'll say that 50% goes towards that and hit save. So that's one simple example of how we can do some account-based uh, targets. And then for Johnny, we can do the same thing. And for him, we'll do something a little bit different. So we'll set Acme and say 75% is towards that division of Acme. And then actually let's get rid of this and let's go by product. And let's say Johnny is also incentivized by a particular product line that he is selling. So in this case, it's by default bringing in um, the default price book that is set up within your org. And let's say that there's a specialty hammer that Mountain Point Manufacturing sells. And we're going to say the remainder of his target is set up by 25% of sales of this particular product. So you can get pretty granular with this. Uh, it's pretty neat to, to have that flexibility and kind of slice and dice, whether it be based off of accounts or products or a combination of both. Uh, that's a, a simple example of how within Manufacturing Cloud, you can set up account manager targets. Uh, hope this was insightful. And if you are a manufacturing company looking to leverage Manufacturing Cloud and specifically set up sales targets for your team, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be happy to help you.